Hi, Brad from WPSites.net. Let's take a look at a four column archive template which displays the featured image and the title only, as you can see in this screenshot here on my tutorial. Now, let's have a look at the demo site, which I've set up a bit differently, and uh, here's the result here. So there's different ways you can use this template. You can use it on any type of archive simply by using the, um, the WordPress template hierarchy and naming the file according to where you want to use and execute the code on which uh, archives. Or there's another custom function included in the code and you can just use conditional tags with that code to display it on the home page or any type of archive. So there's two different options. Um, when it comes to execution of the code. Now, you can also use this for different types of layouts and in this demonstration we've got the full width layout um, and you can change that as well. So let's go through to a, a category archive. Uh, we'll take category one and you can see it's using full width. So we can also use the default uh, content sidebar layer category one so there it is there so you can use it either way and you can um, you can set those layouts using the Genesis uh, global settings under Genesis theme settings you'll find the layout settings and that'll affect your entire site globally or you can use the um, different archive layout settings. So for the category archives, we just change it here like I did before. So let's just view category one, and there you can see it there. Or another option is you can use one line of code in the uh, in, in your functions file, and you can uh, conditionally um, set the layout as well by your functions file or in the template code. So there's about four different options for setting the layout. Let's just check the, the mobile responsiveness and you can see it resizes really well. I added some extra CSS to, uh, to center this uh, archive description and title. So you can remove that or you can, uh, you can leave it in there. So it's a pretty good solution, I think. It's pretty simple. It uses the Genesis um, bootstrap column classes, which are included in Genesis. And there you have it. Um, all the code supported for members of WPSites.net. If you need installation support or small tweaking of the PHP code, that's included in, uh, for members of WPSites.net. Thanks for watching, and see you next time on WPSites.net.